anti-communism all day for Rose Nami Yunus. We got Wei Li Zhang, who has really brought no politics into this whatsoever, but Rose Nami Yunus used the famous old verbiage of the 1950s US of A saying, I'd rather be dead than red, man. She brought the politics in there. She made it personal. Is this going to be, do you think this is personal truly, or do you think that the media is just trying to do whatever they can to put heat on this fight? I'm so glad you brought this up, Derek. I, I didn't have any notes on this just because I, I really don't think it's any any deal, any like kind of kind of big issue. I think the media is blowing this completely out of proportion because how fucking soft is the media? I know. For saying, oh, you're hurting her feelings. Like, oh, don't don't say those words. You're gonna hurt her feelings. Fuck you. I'm in here to hurt her face. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, this is the fight game. We're I'm gonna punch you in the face. Like, <laughs> it, this I uh, it, it frustrates me so much because good. Yeah. I'm glad she's saying some shit. Like, I'm glad Thug Rose is coming out and saying, yeah, I'd rather be red. I'd rather be dead than red. Yeah. Like, good, bro. This is this is what needs to happen. And I'm I'm sick and tired of like uh, Ariel Hawani or even any of these other soft ass reporters just saying stuff like this. Like, OK, you know, the, the old adage is true. Another old adage for you. Sticks and stones may break my bones, man, but they, they're not going to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Words just can't hurt me. And I'm, I'm happy Rose Namus is actually getting a little fire under. Her. You know what I'm saying? We we've seen the 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 nasty the nasty thug rose when she was fighting jj or then we saw the nice kind of not a, or not as aggressive kind of play little downplayed uh rose nami Yunus against jessica andrade so i i would much prefer her to see the fire lit and whatever way she needs to do that man whether it be political religious whatever it be as long as it's you know not not necessarily super disrespectful i think man fuck it let it fly I'm with you, man. I love that you just said this because I grew up on this statement and I feel like when I ask people today, especially where I'm at right now over here in Portland, Pacific Northwest, when I say, have you heard this statement? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can't hurt me, baby. They can't hurt me. Come on. Shout out to Goggins. You feel me? Let's go. Shout out. So, hey. so listen, man, I, I truly believe in that sentiment, right? That uh, you got to put some type of motivation onto this fight, right? Rose, she's like, I'd love to be friends with her if we could, but at the end of the day, I have Lithuanian heritage, man, and if we're, this isn't a political show, so we're not here about the politics, but ultimately, man, do your history. Crack open a fucking book. How about that? Because if you do that, you will see there has been mass oppression by different political governments and different political styles and all of that stuff all around the world, man. Not everyone is the United States of America. And even we got our own problems here, man. So it's like, at the end of the day, listen, these two are about to fight each other. Wei Li Zhang, 21 fight win streak, man. 21 and one. But AJ, I got to I gotta throw a little context onto these 21 victories, AJ, because that's all I'm hearing right now. They're like, do you know when the last time Wei Li Zhang lost was? It was in 2013, da, 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 da. But I'm like, hmm, I hear you. Rose Nami Yunus, she's 9-4, 7-3 in the UFC. Uh, Wei Li Zhang's 5-0 in the UFC. Here's the thing about those 21 wins for Wei Li Zhang, AJ. The thing about that is that 16 of the 21 wins have come in China, either in uh, in China or in South Korea or Thailand. In between those, they were not in America, they were not in the UFC, and they're not against high-level opposition the same way Rose Nami Yunus was. You look at their records, and you could sit here and say, Rose has no chance. Wei Li Zhang is just so experienced, so dominant. 10 knockouts, 7 submissions, 4 decisions. You can't touch her. She's over there training all the time on Instagram. Come on, right? But at the end of the day, AJ, man, social media isn't real. It's a facade. And uh, Rose Nami Yunus is an absolute killer, man. Like I said, seven of her nine victories have come in the UFC. She literally grew up on the UFC. She's coming out of tough, out of the ultimate fighter. BJJ Brown belt under Tony Basile, karate, taekwondo, black belt. And uh, listen, she still works with Trevor Whitman over there at 303 Training Center in Denver, Colorado, man. And you cannot discount that, man. So let's break this one down, AJ. First ever Chinese champion in Wei Li Zhang enjoys a 63-inch reach, but that's two two inches in terms of a disadvantage for Rose Nami Yunus. And uh, listen, she's a high striker, man. High volume striker. Six significant strikes lineup per minute at a 45% clip and she I always say the best thing about Wei Li Zhang is actually not her hands but her legs man her legs are incredible because she has tree trunk thighs she could throw kicks at you from every single angle even though she's a she's a switch fighter but she generally fights out of the orthodox stance uh, her power leg is her left leg so she throws that inside calf kick all day long. And that's actually how she sets up a lot of her offense, AJ. I wanted to talk about this because um, that's her range finder. A lot of people, it's their jab. A lot of people, it's maybe even the outside calf kick. But for her, she'll use the inside calf kick and then maybe do a switch kick after that or a switch side kick or something like that, right? She gauges a lot of her offense and her timing and her disruptiveness off of that. Now, Rose Nami Yunus is a master of lateral and in and out movement and head movement, right? Now, Wei Li Zhang has good movement, but she lacks the pivotal head movement that you need to remain a champion. We we must remember 
context is important, right, AJ? Do we did we forget that Rose Nami Yunus gets slammed on her head? The universe just aligned perfectly so that Jessica Andrade could be the champion and get starched in under a round against uh, Wei Li Zhang to win the actual championship. So Wei Li Zhang, if you think about it, she probably had the easiest path to welter or to uh, uh, women's straw weight gold in in most recent history, right? Rose had to go through Yoani and Jacek twice. Twice, not once, twice, right? And I just watched the Yoani Yen Jacek versus Wei Li Zhang fight again last night. I'm, I'm, wait, I think Yoana's got a case to be made there, AJ. I'm just going to say. So this is going to be a very pivotal matchup. And I think that uh, at the end of the day, this is, this is the highly, most highly anticipated bout on this card for a reason. So uh, who, who has a striking advantage in this one? They're both strikers, but Rose is some, somehow, some way just known for her grappling. But I think she's got some of the best boxing in the UFC in the women's division. Talk to me, AJ. What do you think? I, it's hard because they're both amazing strikers and I don't know which one I would actually give the advantage to because they're both a different kind of striker. You know what I'm saying? Like Zay, uh, Wei Li Zhang, she has uh, literally what I wrote down is power and control. Yeah. Like she loves to just walk people down, control the fight and will drop you with power. I, I'm glad you noted that thing about her, her strong leg being her left leg. Cause she'll hit you. She sounds orthodox can hit you up hard with the right hand, you know, has all the techniques of a good uh, orthodox boxer, but that front leg sidekick is something different, man. When you, if you've ever done any karate, if you've ever done any Taekwondo and somebody blasts a front leg sidekick to your abdomen, you know what it feels like. And it's not fun at all. Cause it's like a power jab but a power jab to your body that makes you can't breathe right, you know? So she, Wei Li Zhang has this power that's just kind of unfelt in the women's division. And I do, I do agree she has had an easy road to it. But we're going to see that road get tested with Nami Yunus because her uh, proficiencies lie in the fact that she's very smooth, mm -hmm. very agile, and hard to hit. That's one of the, you know, she's the Floyd Mayweather of the women's 115-pound uh, division where she will, she'll literally get in, piece you up, bing, 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 drop out, mm -hmm. not get touched, good head movement, like you said, lateral movements on par. One of the, literally one of my favorite fighters, bro. Like, oh, yeah. I, I love Thug Rose. Um, but she, in this fight, it's going to be hard because I think she needs to win by points. She needs to outpoint her because in that fight you were just talking about with the uh, the JJ and the the Wei Li Zhang, there's a there's a point to be made if this is a if this is a point fight there's a case to be made that JJ won. Yeah. Now okay. in the eyes of perception of the judges and and you know coming coming off okay. with that alien head, yeah, he you know, <laughs> that it's it's a little it's a little harder to say she won that fight. But I do I do think that if this was just strictly judged on who is, you know, getting the most shots off and we're going by numbers, man, there's a case to be made. Um, get, now, who has a striking advantage? I think they're both very evenly tied all around. And this is another fight to me, Derek, that's a coin toss. This one's hard to pick. Sure, sure. Well, I, I'm glad that you noted the karate stuff, man, because I we need to just ask, just for the people listening, right? The great the great people at home that are, you know, making this show happen, um, they need to understand the main difference, the main fundamental difference between karate and boxing. Now, if I just had to ask you just... This is, I mean, I know the answer in my head, but just like, what would you say is a fundamental difference between karate and boxing in terms of movement? Um, in and out, side to side, but overall general means, I'd say boxing is more of a, an art form, a technique, sure. like a, a practice. Whereas karate is kind of made a little bit more for the chaos of the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not as yeah. precise it's not, it's very in and out, very lateral, very fast. And everything needs to happen quick, fast, in a hurry. Where boxing, man, you set things up, you set up these traps, sure. you play this game back and forth. So it's a little more technical of the boxing aspect. But the biggest difference for movement, I would say, is that lateral sideways instead of staying with your front leg in the tire and working and shot sideways like that. Like a lot more getting out of the way, a lot more very distance lateral movement no you're absolutely right right there right and you're totally right too and that karate is fundamentally for self-defense in the streets that's what karate is ultimately for but you're right so two methods of movement boxing is a circle karate is a straight line right and oftentimes how do you get out of the way of a straight line move around it you know what I mean? When we talked about it before, right? It's like, how do you just back straight up when you're getting blitzed in? Because that's what Wei Li Zhang does. She blitzes in on you, right? So what does Rose Nama Yunus do masterfully? What does she do against Jessica Andrade? Just move to the side. That's it. You know what I mean? I move to the side. But the thing about Rose Nama Yunus is she'll move to the side and move her head and then move in and out all like simultaneously. And she's a master of that footwork. Footwork is incredible. And I even posted up a little clip on the on the AFC Instagram page of Rose Nama Yunus after she got hit with a big body shock by Andrade and how she's just able to be creative, fluid, and composed during those pressure situations. Now, the one spot where I can see Wei Li Zhang taking full advantage of AJ is when uh, 
ultimately Rose Nami Yunus at times, if you back her up against the cage and then you put nonstop pressure on her with no regard as to if you're going to get hit back or not, sometimes Rose will panic and she'll just, oh God, I don't, you know what I mean? She can't get into that fluidity, that flow state. And that's a, kind of the, the argument, Al Jermaine Sterling versus Corey Sandhagen, right? He just blitzed him too quickly. He didn't give him even an opportunity to get into that flow state or whatever. He just put the backpack on him, choked him out. So Rose Nami Yunus, the one thing we know about her is that her game plan for every single fight is to punch him in the face, take their back and choke him out. We know that. Uh, but is that going to happen against we uh, Wei Li Zhang? I think that grappling against Wei Li Zhang is going to be a very, very bad idea. And the reason why is because Wei Li Zhang, she has very, she's strong first and foremost. She's strong as hell. And you'll see that in all of her fights. She can just keep her opponents down or she can manipulate position without having to use technique. Now, Rose Namajunas oftentimes will use, she'll get on the ground because she tripped or because her opponent just sprawled on her or whatever the case may be. She'll get on the ground. She'll search for the submission. She'll use like the threat of an arm bar to get their opponent to kind of relax a little bit, use her two legs and just kick them off and get back up to the feet. So it's another one of those situations where Rose Namajunas wants to be on the feet um, unless her stand up isn't working. Then she'll go for the back or if the opportunity presents itself. But ultimately, we got straight line versus circle movement in this one. Rose Nami Yunus will have, she does this thing, AJ, where it's a it's a boxing thing where you your legs are here, but you're moving your torso up around and she'll come up, head movement, and then come here. And it'll actually add reach onto her right hand because of the way that in boxing, you lean forward when you strike as opposed to MMA. You got to stay back so you can stuff the takedown. So I think that it's going to be a very much of a, twin, uh, a coin toss as well. But and I do think Rose Nama Yunus has no path to victory other than a submission or a decision win. Last thing I got, AJ, Wei Li Zhang in her fight against Rose Nama Yunus, she is a head hunter and a leg kick hunter. She kicks the bot the lower legs and the head, but not the body. Joanna, she balanced up between body, head, and legs. Rose Nama Yunus could use that to her advantage and start piecing up that body the same way uh Joanna and Jacek did. And you know, definitely, definitely could see some strategy, uh, uh, a sound strategy. So let's give our picks, man. AJ, you go first. Who are you going with in this one? Well, like I said before, Derek, this is a coin toss for me. I genuinely think this fight could go either way. But and as a as a Thug Rose fan, man, I'm hoping I'm eating some crow next week. But I'm going Wei Li Zhang by decision. Who you got? So it's funny that you say that because I'm on the exact opposite as you. I'm a huge Rose fan, but I'm also a huge Magnum fan. I think Wei Li Zhang is such an incredible, incredible talent, and her work ethic is just unmatched. It really feels like it. Um, and I've been going back and forth. I was even texting you. I was like, oh, I might change my pick, AJ, man. I've been going back and forth all week long. And all week, I had Wei Li Zhang winning by a, a very, very convincing decision. Until I just been watching too much Rose Nami Yunus tape, man. She's just too good on her feet. Her feet, she's just too too damn good. So I'm going Rose Nami Yunus, Thug Rose by decision. Let's see if it happens. See if it comes to fruition. One of us is gonna be eating crow, so we'll see who it is. Man.